So every year when Christmas rolls around or my birthday comes up, my wife asks me, what do you want for Christmas or what do you want for your birthday? And I always kind of give her that answer like, ah, I don't know, whatever, I'm okay with anything. And then she gives me that look like, oh, you're no help. And then I end up getting a tie. Well, that's not really what I wanted. I never wear a tie. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna help you out next time a family or a friend asks you what you want for Christmas or your birthday. I'm gonna give you 10 items that you can recommend and suggest to them. I think you're gonna enjoy these. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today in this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 pieces of gear that the overlander, adventurer, camper, off-roader would really appreciate and may not actually be something that they would buy for themselves, but they would make great gifts. And these items are a broad spectrum of functionality and prices, and I will leave Amazon affiliate links down below at the end of this video if you wanna go check them out. I think these are all very cool products that I've been using for a while. I think you'll really enjoy this. Let's dive in and take a look at the first one. Now I know when I'm out on the trail and I want to stop for lunch and make a sandwich or I'm out camping and I've got my breakfast, a nice hot cup of coffee, it's nice to have a table to set things on or prepare meals on. But for me, I need something that's small and compact. And this Camco bamboo table has been perfect for me. I've been using this for well over a year and I really like this thing. It's super compact. It comes in this nice durable bag that's been holding up really well. But what I like is this thing just folds right open into a table. Just like that, there's four aluminum legs that lock into place. There's these crossbars that secure everything nice and tight. And then there's these legs, which you can raise or lower to give the right height that you need. This is a great little table. It's been very durable. It's held up really well for me. And I think this would make a great gift, something that somebody may not decide to buy for themselves, but they would find very useful. All right, next up is one, well, it's something I personally use and I really like, and some people would be like, I don't need that, but it makes a great gift. So look, I was in the Navy and I was stationed with the Marines and we were out in the field all the time and wet ones were, you know, a lifesaver because you can do a little bit of a wet one wipe down with one of these little tiny little cloths. Well, this company called Shower Pouch has come out with these big, massive wet ones. And I'm gonna open this up just so you can see just how big these things are. I've been using these for a while and I like them a lot. They smell really nice. These ones are cucumber. They have bamboo and a couple other scents. But look how big this thing is. Perfect for a full body, like just, you know, I'm not gonna talk you how to clean yourself, but start from the top down. Uh, it's perfect, I use these all the time. It's nice to freshen up when you're out at camp. And these are a little bit pricey. I mean, they're definitely more expensive than your typical baby wipes, but they're a nice little luxury item that I enjoy using. And these would fit great in a stocking stuffer. I think your overlander or camper would love these. Well, now that my garage smells nice and fresh like cucumbers, let's move on to the next one. Look, if you are out on the trail over and over, inevitably your vehicle or a buddy's vehicle is gonna have a breakdown or a malfunction and you're gonna need some good tools. And for me, I like to be organized on the trail and here in the garage. And this Tecton tool roll has been really nice. You know, no more digging through the tool bag to find the right size wrench. Everything on here is nice and organized. And what I like is you can hang this up on a pegboard or throw it in your tool bag. It just rolls up really small, nice and compact. You throw this under a seat, in a bag, whatever you need. And then when the time arises, you open it up and you got the tools right there, easy to find. And I'm a big fan of the ratcheting ones, but they also do sell this in the standard one. It's a nice option and I think it would make a great gift for somebody. Now I know that many of you think, I don't cook when we're out at camp, it's always Marco that's cooking, but the truth is, I do cook once in a while, my sons have cooked, and my wife loves cooking. And this little kitchen set here from GSI Outdoors is something I've been using for a while, and I really like this. It's well organized, and it's got exactly what we need in it. Now, it does have just your basic fork and spoon and knife, it's got a little cutting board, it's got plenty of pockets to throw sponges and stuff in here, but then it's got some really nice kitchen utensils, and what I like is, it's got this little spatula with a swing out arm so it folds down really nice in there so you've got a spatula you've got a big spoon if you're doing soup you've got some tongs again all these little fold out handles 
just make them really convenient and they've held up really well. And something I never thought I needed until somebody asked me, hey, has anybody got a whisk? Well, it comes with a little whisk. I like this. There's a nice knife and a cheese grater if you need it. This is a nice little simple kitchen set that would make a great gift for somebody that's out there camping. So something that was recently a gift to me has been something that I have learned to really enjoy. And that is this battery pack that is solar rechargeable. I can also charge my phone wirelessly. So I set my phone up there and it starts charging. How nice is that if you're up in your tent and you need to charge your phone, you can just lay it on there. It'll charge all night while you're sleeping. Pretty handy little guy. Now it also does have three USB ports so you can charge up you know, your GoPro or whatever else you got. You can charge this up by using solar. So you can throw it on your dash or throw it out uh, outside while you're at camp or you can plug it in and charge it via USB. But what I also really like about this thing is it's got a flashlight built in. So you double tap the power button and it turns into a flashlight and it's got three different brightnesses. That's pretty handy. I like little conveniences like that. This is a nice little product that I have found very handy. Up next is something that I've been using for a long time and I really like this thing and I have not found another product like this that beats this one. This is the water port sprayer and what this is is 3.8 gallon water tank that you can pressurize and then you have a hose here on the side that coils up and you can shower up with it. You can rinse stuff off, you know, wash your dishes. I've rinsed mud off my door handles with this thing. It's very convenient to have and it's easy to pressurize this. You plug in your hose and it fills it up with water and adds pressure. But then if you use all that water, you can manually add pressure with this little valve here, adding pressure to the tank. And if you open this up, you can add more water to it. And if you wanted to, it's big enough that you could throw some ice cubes in there and make this chilled water. But because this is black, if you put this out in the sun, you can get some nice warm water and then you could take a nice warm shower. I've been meaning to do a full detailed review on this thing because I really, really like it. It has a couple mounting options. It's just really durable and I think it's a great gift. It's probably the most pricey thing on our list today, but I think it's worth it. When you turn off the pavement and hit the dirt, it's nice to be able to air down your tires for a little comfort and a little more traction. And for me, for the last four years, I've been airing down with these Coyote tire deflators. Now there are many ways to air down your tires. Some take a little longer, some are more convenient. I like these just because they're super convenient. You set these up to the pressure you want them and you only need to do that one time. And there's a locking nut on here. You lock them in, you screw these on the valve and you pop the little plunger here and it will air down your tires to the set PSI, which has been perfect for me. I put these on all four tires and I walk away, I come back and I'm ready to go at 15 PSI. These things are very convenient and they have been holding up really well for the last four years. I know that there's certain people out there that have their preference. These Coyote tire deflators are my preferred way to air down my tires when I hit the trail. So if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you'll know that I am a coffee nut. And most folks consider me the barista out at camp because I always have coffee. And for me, it's important to caffeinate myself, but to help caffeinate my friends in the morning, it means a lot. There's just something about a good hot cup of coffee in the morning. And look, I've tried it all. I've tried the instant coffee. I've tried the French presses. I've even seen people come out with like these portable espresso makers. I don't know what that's all about. Definitely not for me. But look, what seems to work, and I've come back to it time and time again, is just a simple percolator. Look, percolating coffee at camp is very easy to use. It's very clean, it's nice, and it just tastes good. And there's just something about a good aroma of a hot cup of coffee in the morning. This thing is super easy, and it makes several cups of coffee so I can make enough coffee for myself and for my buddies, clean up is a breeze. It doesn't take long. I'm a coffee nut. If you have a coffee nut in your family, this might make a great gift for them. All right, I told you in the beginning, there's a broad spectrum of the gear we were gonna talk about today, and then we just talked about a coffee percolator, and now we're gonna talk about a camp toilet. That's right, I know it sounds weird. Why would you give somebody a camp toilet? 
And look, it might be kind of a fun gag gift, but the truth is this is very practical. My wife and I know lots of other ladies appreciate having something simple like this to sit on when they need to go take care of their business. This is a great little toilet. It's very sturdy. These legs actually fold up underneath and this can be put underneath a seat or inside you know, the corner somewhere. It folds up very well, but it's nice convenience for the ladies or if you gotta take care of your business. Look, we gotta talk about these things on the channel. Also, it has these double duty bags and these are nice because they have a double seal on them and there's some biodegradable stuff in gel inside and everything just goes into that bag and then you can throw it in your trash bag and pack out your waste because you know what it's better to do that for the environment so look uh, this sounds like a strange gift but I know there's some people out there that would appreciate to have a toilet it may not be something they'd buy for themselves but I know my wife enjoys having this and going from one kind of seat to the regular kind of seat, uh, this is my camp chair that I have had for a long time. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that are very picky about their camp chairs, and I don't blame them. I think it's important to be comfortable when you're out on the trail. But look, for me, I like something that's comfortable and compact. And this has probably got a little more compact than it does comfort, but for me, this thing has been working for a long time. It's got these tent-like poles that Fold out just like that. You saw how quick that was. And then you roll out the canvas and then we just hook it right up and it's all good to go. Now, the only complaint I have about this chair after many years of use is that sometimes if you're in some soft sand or some soft dirt, the legs will kind of dig in a little bit, but I like this little camp chair. I know there's a lot of opinions about chairs out there. This one has been working for me for a long time and I like it. And I like just how compact it gets because that just helps save room when I'm in the Jeep. So what's the verdict? Was there anything in that group of 10 items that you would like to have as a gift? Again, as a reminder, I will leave links down below in the description if there's something there that you want to get for yourself or to get for somebody else. Go click those links. It does help support the channel and I really appreciate that. I think all 10 of these items are very practical and would make some great gifts. I know I like having them when I'm out on the trail. Hey, if you are visiting Trail Recon for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. And as always, please remember to travel the trails responsibly. Thanks for watching.